and uh, let me <coughs> okay start sharing just let me close this okay and start sharing the screen okay well so okay this session we're going to talk about pie charts of course in writing we normally don't have just pie chart we have comparison you know between pie chart line chart pie chart bar chart but if you know how to write about each type of diagram it will be really easy to write and to compare uh, each diagram with another okay so first of all you need to learn how to write about each of this diagram like pie chart that is one of them so we talked about line charts okay and we did some exercises related to pie chart now we're going to talk about a uh, what actually line chart or line graph and now we're going to talk about pie charts and learn how to write so as you know it's uh, actually another question of writing task one we have word limits and you need to consider at least 150 words that is really important okay and uh, actually in pie chart we discuss segments so let me write something here and there is no line there is no <coughs> bar but there are some segments parts or segments okay and so we need to talk about them now as you can see again we have a question instruction okay and we have a title what is the chart about the pie chart shows the amount of money that a children's charity located in the usa spent and received in one year okay so i want you to do something if you want to paraphrase the first part it means this title what words can you use and how can you paraphrase it uh i think that the amount of money i think that i can change it to like the number of money mm -hmm. and and that children's charity mm -hmm. i i i think that children's charity maybe okay so the first one the pie chart so let's do this from the beginning the pie charts okay shows what words can be used instead of show so let's write here for example depict it's good illustrate is good or for example show of course we have show here so we don't use it depict illustrate <clears throat> and so we can say the pie chart or the given pie chart i'd rather the given you know i normally rather use the given chart the given graph so the given pie chart depicts or illustrates okay now i have a actually phrase the amount of money that a children's charity located in the US. OK, the amount of money spent and received. So we have two words, two verbs, especially spent and receive. So we need to definitely we need to paraphrase and we need to use actually synonym. The money actually that can receive actually can be like income income not another word for income can be revenue so i'll live right here revenue yeah now the amount of money so it's better to say illustrate for example the income the revenue okay and instead of amount of money why don't i use source okay sources it means actually revenue sources it means the amount uh, the amount of money okay yeah. 
So, and in the US, and we have here, okay, located in the US, spent and received. Now, I want to add something, okay? In addition, as well as, no, let me say, as well as, okay, why not? As well as, okay, what about uh, actually <clears throat> costs? It means spent money or cost. Okay, so what, what word can I use? I want to teach you another word, as well as expenditures. Okay, expenditures or expenditure, it means cost. Okay, spending money. Spending means expenditure. So I can use as well as expenditures now of children's, for example, charity. Okay, of children's charity were in the US. Okay, so I yeah. could paraphrase and I could give a good introduction around uh, <clears throat> actually a good introduction using synonyms. Now I want you to actually make an introduction again using the words that I wrote on the board. Um, the given pie charts uh, illustrate uh, the, the 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 revenue sources um, and the expenditure expenditures of course of a, a, a of a children's charity located in the USA cost mm -hmm. no cost no no we don't have just you know I wrote this word here because this is a synonym of expenditure and it's cost or for example spending uh -huh. cost the meaning of so we don't have it now we used expenditure so let me delete it okay so this is about introduction now as you know we have overview and main body again now Let's check. OK, now we don't need the title. OK, anymore. Now we have. OK, let me make it a little bigger. It's a little actually, I think unclear. So but it's OK. As you can see, OK, I have revenue source and expenditures here. So but we could we could write introduction without checking part chart, just only using the synonyms. But as you can see, we have them now. OK, yeah. let's talk about this too. Just briefly, OK, let's talk about the overview. For example, in overview, you need to compare two charts. OK, you know, you need to talk and discuss about both uh, charts. OK, so we have revenue source and expenditures. Now, if you want to say, I don't want you to read, okay, just try to say, if you want to say something related to the first one, the first pie chart, how can you make some sentences? <clears throat> I think that's overall the, the revenue sources um, in, included six segments yeah okay this is overview this is really different now let's talk how to write the overview as i told you actually it's somehow like a graph you know we only discuss the most important segments yeah. no maybe <clears throat> the biggest segments okay now here as you can see, OK, I have revenue stores, OK. For example, I have some segments here. That. About is about donated food, OK, and the percent is the percentage is 86.6 persons. So it's actually it's a really, really. Large number or person, so I say that, OK, this part. 
And I have the other incomes, like for example, okay, not 0.4 person or government grants or for example, investment income. Okay, they are small. So the first, the first big or large area is this part. Then I have this part, okay? But I don't need to talk about this sections. Okay, so let me, I don't need to talk and discuss these sections, just the biggest area. OK, now I can say so to write an overview, we normally start with, for example, overall. OK, as can be seen. OK, so I say as can be seen or overall. Now you say the revenue. OK, in the revenue sources of are what total you need to write total here because you are discussing revenue sources of this number, okay? So the revenue sources of total, or for example, of this number, the maximum amount, okay, of money come from, come from where? Donated food. Very good, donated food, okay? Now it's okay. Now let's go to the next part that spends, okay? Expenditures or spent money. Okay, now tell me, and the charity spends um the charity spend most on program services very very good more money or the most of money okay on program services okay and then you can give the amount for example which for example amounted so let me say something the word amount amount okay amount can be a noun or a verb okay so you can say can amount it okay can amount it 95.8 person this is your overview so as i we talked and as we realized in pie chart an overview we talk about the most important segment or maybe the biggest segments yeah. okay so now this is about overview okay <coughs> well if you want to now uh, we have two other paragraphs yeah how can we write about these two actually how can we compare or how can we write about these two pie charts so if you want to briefly talk about the first one just give me some lines, you know, maybe one or two lines about the first one, revenue sources. I think that. <laughs> but um, the sentence in the like overview or in the party one, teacher. Okay, no, overview is finished, okay? Now we're going to actually give our main body. OK, yeah. the first chart and the second one. OK, let's talk about it. I want to ask your opinion about the first one. If you want to write how, how can you do it? And sorry, I need to drink water, warm water because yeah. of my voice. So, so sorry, accept my apologies. OK. Yeah. OK, so. <laughs> I think that we can write about more detail in this pie chart. It's like um, we write all the name of the segment in this pie chart mm -hmm. and then we okay. write the amount of okay. percents like the percents each segment have okay so first of all something that you need to pay attention of course is the beginning of your main body first first is not good to start with, okay. So you can use a phrase that we talked before, you know, for the beginning of your main body. No, in main body, you need to discuss all segments, okay? We have two paragraphs, first about this, second about this, and I need to discuss all segments. So again, okay, I repeat, in main body, I say, uh, for example, to start with, uh, charity, okay, 
collect or for example get okay so charity collected for example uh majority lots of majority for example of revenue sources from donated foods okay this is the first one then i need to pay attention to the second one okay the second okay most revenue okay can be or is community okay community contribution <coughs> okay so this is the second part then you can say for example other incomes and government grants are the same as you can see for example are the same amounts they are very small amounts and of course we have another one that is program revenue that of course i can say for example and we have about 2.2 percent of program revenue and totally okay revenue resource re, uh, received of the usa children's charity was this number so first i discuss the segments one by one if i have two segments or three segments the same i mention and then totally i give this number okay yeah. now it's your turn about expenditure the last paragraph mm, i i think it's the same with revenue sources that you have to write all about the detail in each segments of course, I, of course. You, you will need to write the fundraising and the percent of the expand expenditure expenditure <laughs> of this and uh, it's again like with management and general and still with program and services of course very good now as you can see so I have actually program service. OK, just that actually most of actually can be <clears throat> in the expenditure, for example, section, the maximum amount or percentage of money was taken, was taken. So as you can see and as you can hear, I'm using past simple passive. That is really important. Passive is really important. So, and as you could hear, I use past simple tense. For example, collected or was taken because actually some organizations are taking amount of money from, for example, charity. So you can say the most amount of money was taken by, for example, program services. That is, for example, the amount of 90 percent, 95.8 percent. OK, then you can mention the others that actually are the same and just this. And don't forget in pie chart, we normally use, for example, uh, the words like while, because actually we're making a contrast, a comparison. So we use the words that actually can help us to make uh, a contrast or compare two charts, a graph, a chart. OK, so that is really important to use these type of words. OK. Yes. Well, well I can yeah. have a question. Is that like, um, in the intro introduction, what tense you, you will use? OK, as I told you, OK, in introduction, uh, because let me say something about it. OK, let me say something about introduction. In introduction, normally we use present simple. Why? Because we are writing something from something that we can see. We say that, for example, these two pie charts depicts, illustrates, OK? For example, depict or illustrate the revenue and, of course, for example, this uh, expenditures. Uh, so I don't need to use past simple. OK, I can use present simple and normally, uh, for example, in this type of actually questions, we use present simple for introduction. Of course, for each graph can be different. So I would talk about so we talked about line and now uh, we talked about pi. Then I would talk about, for example, the others. OK, just here about pie chart. I use present simple and can be present simple passive or active. OK, but passive is a better alternative. Oh, and 
can you like write all the form of introduction over and body graph again for me because I need to take note. Of course, of course, I can write. Uh, so do you want me to write on the board or write you in chat box so that you can have? I think that's my way, yeah, on the board. On the board, of course, why not? Let me, okay, make it a little smaller and so that I can see the board. <laughs> Let me clean this part. Okay. That's <laughs> two. Okay. I can put this here. No matter. Okay. Well, let's get started with introduction. So <clears throat> let me write, for example. Okay. Uh, where was this? Okay, it's here. So this is the first line that is introduction. Even for example, pie <clears throat> chart. Okay. Illustrates. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. you. Uh, it's like um, I need some light. Um, what? Light, what do you need? Uh, the form <laughs> of. Each part and you, I think. Uh, the um, form of each part, you mean, what do you mean the form of each part? I couldn't get it. So you mean, I write, for example, present, simple, or something like this, talk about the structure. It's like um, in, the, in the introduction that I need to write a title and something like this and in of the course, overview. Of course, of course, of course. So let me, uh, I got it, I got it. So you need to know the structure. So yeah, let yeah. me. Okay, so let me. Okay, an introduction. Okay, let me write introduction. Okay, you need to paraphrase the title. Okay, just paraphrase the title. Okay, and the second one overview. Okay. That should be actually <clears throat> something like the most, maybe the biggest, okay, or the largest segment, okay, in yeah. both charts, okay, and in addition, okay. Figures or numbers related to the biggest segments. Okay, this is about overview. Yeah. Okay, and now we have main body. First of all, main, what is this? Main body one. <coughs> Okay, that should include actually you need to discuss. Okay, all sections or segments, sections or segments of the first chart including numbers or persons. Okay, and this is the first one. And the second one, main body two, two, again, discuss all segments of the <clears throat> second okay chart including 
same segments. Okay, and don't forget about adding, okay, total numbers in two main bodies. Okay, so this is a structure. Yeah. Okay, so let me put this here. Okay. Well, now it's better. Do you have any other question? No, I think it's very clear. Okay, very good. Well, so of course I would uh, discuss, you know, the other query that is, for example, the other form that is comparing between, for example, graph and pie chart. Just let me close this because we don't need it anymore. Yeah. Okay, and well, okay, I have the other one. If I can uh, find it, just uh, give me a moment to. Okay, if I had another one, actually, comparison. So, but it's. No, it's not here. Okay, so. And I think this one is. <laughs> well, so let me open it and share it for you. Okay, something like this. Let me send it on. Uh, okay, so let me send it on the screen so that you can see. Yeah. Just a moment. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, having cold is awful, you know. I love this season, but I don't know why I should have cold. Okay, so let me uh, okay, upload it on the board. Okay. Hello. Why I couldn't send? No, yeah, it's being uploaded. Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. Now you can see another one. Okay, this one. So. Okay, now we have the other form that is this one, as you can see, we have another type of questions. As you can see, we have, for example, uh, reasons arrested in five years ending 1994 and male, males and females. As you can see, I have different uh, graphs. So the charts below show the males and females arrested over five years and the reason for the most recent arrests. OK, now. We're going to talk about them. OK, now we're going to write. So we have difference. OK, would you tell me, OK, what is this and what actually what are those? So would you briefly talk about them? Just tell me, what do you see? I see that uh, about in the chart, with, uh, in the mouse chart, I see that. Mm -hmm. OK, mm. so OK, now. Uh, let's talk about them. Of course, we have different charts. OK, so we're going to talk about them. First of all, let's talk about actually the structure of introduction. In these type of questions, actually, the introduction is a little different. But how is it? Let me talk. The first question that you need to ask yourself is, Will you put the introduction separately because we have different charts? Yes or no? OK, do you think do you tell me? Do you think we need to separate introduction about these charts or no? I think that. 
Uh, I think that yes. Mm -hmm. OK, so you think yes, of course, definitely yes, because we have different charts, so we need to introduce them in different paragraphs. So we can have two paragraphs about, for example, bot chart and pie chart. So this is the first question. OK, do you think, uh, OK, do we have uh, overview or conclusion, you think? It's have overview is absolutely, but the conclusion is no. Of course, definitely yes. We don't need a uh, conclusion. And of course, we can add overview, right? Overview after our introduction. So the next paragraph. OK, the next question. How many body paragraphs will you have? It's two. Of course, because we actually have four paragraphs in total, so we need. And number three, um, and the next one, what other would you uh, actually will you put your paragraphs in? So what are the thing? So introduction, overview and. And two body graph. OK, so of course, two body first about pie chart and the second one about bar chart and tell me. Do you need to write both paragraph in the same length, for example, five line, five line or no? Of course, no. Of course. Which one can be actually longer, you think? Uh, could you repeat again? OK, for example, we have two paragraphs. One is related to pie chart. And the second one is about bar chart. Now, of course, they don't need to be equal length, so they're different. Now tell me which one can be longer, you think? Uh, uh, I think it's have the... I think... It's, yeah. The same. Oh, uh, no, they they the same. Uh, no, they're not the same because, of course, they can be, but actually we don't say that. I know it's not, it, actually it's not the rule for two charts that they should be equal. No, normally, actually, pie charts in a writing is shorter than bar charts. You know, because actually we have more details in bar, bar charts and bar chart is actually normally longer than, you know, uh, pie chart. So actually maybe the paragraph of bar chart is longer than uh, pie chart, of course. Actually, as uh, I told you, this rule doesn't apply for, you know, all questions. You may have the same or the equal, uh, yeah. actually, paragraphs, but now first of all, just let's talk about the overview and then we will keep going with the rest of I want now I want you to talk the overview. Of course, as I told you again, the introduction, I, I don't want to talk about it. The introduction, as I told you, you need to paraphrase the titles of two uh, charts so you don't need to actually discuss it again. Just tell me about overview. What can you see and what do you need to write an overview? <laughs> I think that in the overview. Uh, I think that um, we talk about the uh, the, the the highest percent in in males and female parts uh, uh pie chart and we talk about the highest part in the pie chart very good and also uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. Of, of course so as you mentioned we need to discuss key features main points in bar charts and pie chart. Now let's check it together. For example, about the first part, okay, so let's write and let's actually uh, 
well, let's write an overview together. Recent arrested, uh, actually persons arrested in five years ending 1994. So we have the beginning of our overview. So, for example, as can be seen, for example, over the actually, you know, five year period, because it's about five years as we have five years, over five years, okay, now tell me which male or female, which one were arrested more? Male. Of course, and there is, you can say, there is a big difference, you yeah. know? So we can say, actually, over the five years, okay, ending or finishing, uh, you can paraphrase it, ending or finishing 19, for example, in 1994, okay, there yeah. were, just there were, because we use past simple here. Why? Because they actually, this, you know, this graph is talking, this chart is talking about the period of time in the past. You know, it ends in 1994, so we need to use past simple. So we can say, as can be seen in uh, part chart, actually in the period of five years or five year uh, period, finishing in 1994, for example, there were uh, significantly, for example, more male arrested than female. OK. And yeah. now, OK. We have another one, another just this is enough, OK, because we don't have something else, just this. And you don't need to add percentage because we actually we will have them in main body. Now let's go to OK. This is about the reason of drinking. OK, person for most arrest for drinking. Now let's actually talk about this one. Would you say, please, can you help me to say something? I think that uh, we talk about um, um, all, all of the chart in this part. So it's like train driving, public drinking and all, all of them. Of course. So first of all, I need to, I need to find maybe the most important, okay, part. So this is this one, public drinking. So I know that now. I know that I need to talk about this only this bar in my overview because this is the most important creature. So I say, I can say, for example, the. Uh, the most people, the most people who arrested, okay, but I can say the majority, for example, of arrests, so we have the majority of arrests, okay, were due to or because of public drinking, okay, and just this, okay, and you can add something else here because we have something like no answer about the least number of. And you can add this one because this is a little confusing. What does this mean? No answer. You know, it means we don't have any answer about the people who were arrested. It's yeah. a little ridiculous. So we can add this part. I think this part is important so I can add it while while because there is a contrast okay there was actually no answer was given or there was no answer for the least arrests or the least number of arrests for both genders so justice this is my overview you know it can be includes maybe three or four lines just this okay and as you could hear i separate it first I talked about pie chart, finished, period. Then I started another one. And of course, I add something that I think is important. Just this. This is your overview. Get it? Yes. Very good. OK, of course, we will talk about it again. So let me close. Do you have any questions, issues about this part, about the overview or something like this? It's again, it's just like, can you make me 
um, structure? Of course, I can give it a structure. So, of course, uh, just let me talk about, you know, uh, the introduction. And introduction is the same. Introduction is the same as pie chart. So, you only need to talk about the most actually important creatures in introduction. Uh, I'm sorry, I said in uh, overview. And you need to actually paraphrase. Yeah, let me say something about introduction. I can say that normally, you know, in all charts, graphs, okay, we have the same introduction. Introduction yeah. is actually paraphrasing the title, or just this. We don't have something else. We don't need to give example. We don't need to actually add some data, just paraphrase. So I don't want to repeat it. But yeah. about overview, let me write the structure of overview. Okay, okay. Let me write. Okay, now overview. Now, for example, it must okay uh, contain, for example, the most important or key features. Okay, <clears throat> from both chart, <coughs> from both charts, that is really important, and you must write, okay, the most important features of pie chart and one line okay or maybe sentence okay related to It's, a, it's like the, 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 the most important feature is like the the highest the highest chart yeah of course normally the biggest the highest okay we can say for example the peak in graph you see the peak point they are actually our key features something yeah. let me say something let me guide you this is something like a trick Something that can be seen easily is key feature. Look, I can I can see this bar chart really easily because this is longer than the others. So this is my key. And sometimes I have something like this. This is two, and I can pay attention to the title. I say no answer. What does it mean? So let me add it. Or in this part, okay. I have this part, the black part, that can be seen easily. So this is my key feature, okay? Something that can be seen, the most important changes are key features, okay? Yes. Okay, and just this, just like this, okay? Related to bar or other charts. For example, if you have another, you may have line graph uh, here. So actually, this is not it's not a rule that you need. You only have bar chart. So you have one line, maybe two lines depends on your next chart. OK, about the second one. Just this. Yeah. Okay. But, and how about the pipe, the pie chart? Like we write part of the pie chart. Part of the what does it mean? You know, part of the pie chart. What do you mean? It's like we write about um, per, the percents of males as fee arrest. Yeah. yeah, you need to. It means you need to write the person. Of course, if you add, if you add, it's OK. For example, you can say, OK, for example, <clears throat> the most significant, for example, number of uh, arrested or arrests, OK, were males. You can add, for example, that was 32 person. 
But you don't need, if you don't write, you know, no matter, because you will write it again in main body. You need to mention again. So you don't need, you only say that, okay, which part is most important? Just this. Okay, because let me say something. Uh, why we don't add numbers in overview and try to add them in main body? Because as we know, we have word limits. Okay, yeah. if I write and I have no, I have two charts to talk about. So maybe, you know, I need more room to write about this too. So if I write the numbers in overview and again repeat them in main body, I may actually, uh, you know, I may not have enough room to yeah. actually write the other details. So you don't need, okay? If you have enough room, it's okay, but you don't need. But it's like, can you give me the instant of uh, of the pie, uh, of the pie chart? It's like, I don't know how to write about it. Okay, about pie chart? Yes, yes. To write about pie chart? Okay, so, but I wrote. I wrote the previous, uh, so do you want me to write it again? It's, it's like in... By, uh, you, you say that, um, like, I need to write about the important features in part of the, in part of the chart, is par chart and pie chart, but I don't, I don't know, like, let me let me say, of course, let me say how to write. Let me give you an example. OK, yeah. so about this. OK, we have this yeah. sample, so let's talk about it. OK, let me. Well, so let me put your picture here so that I can see it and I need more space. So let me make it a little smaller so that I can I have enough room to write. OK, it's better now. OK, now it's better. And let me put this. Here. Okay, it's better now. Well, let me clean the board. Okay, now I'm going to write about pie chart. Okay, let's talk. First of all, okay, I need to, uh, okay, <clears throat> give details about something that I mentioned in overview. Give details, okay? So, I can write, that, for example, the majority or most of women, okay? That is, for example, you know, arrested or not arrested, okay, 32, okay? I can, for example, more than, for example, I give a person, okay? We're arrested for, uh, you know, for example, oh, uh, for OK, let's okay, do you want me to just let me do you want me to talk about both of them or only pie chart? So let me so that I can talk for part, part, part of them. I need an instant part of them. OK, both of them or part or or, or which one or just pie chart? Which one? I, I think that's part of them because I can imagine how to write. The OK, very, very. OK, so. For example, you want to write about the first one. OK, that is really easy about pie chart. As, uh, for example, the majority of uh, men, OK, or for example, the first one, and you can talk about the first that is pie chart. OK, you only need to rewrite the overview and add the percentage. So uh, you can say, for example, the most significant number of men arrested that was for example 32 person okay was arrested uh, actually but or uh, for example likewise or for example in contrast or something like this but only nine percent of women okay arrested okay so this is about you don't need to add any other detail justice this is pie chart because we don't have something else the most important of this is this one bar chart because of course, in pie chart, I can only see male or female. There is no detail. So I always say, for example, uh, the most significant number of arrests were male with 32% and actually the female have the less number of arrests, okay? 
That is, for example, that was 9%. This is about pie chart. Now let's keep going. Now we need to talk about this one that is really important. I want to add details. OK, now. Now I can say, of course, I have men, OK, and female, male and female, black male and hash female. Now I can say, for example, the majority of women, OK, the majority of women, that is, as you can see, more than 35 percent, as you can see, majority of women, OK, that were more than 35 percent, OK, arrested for public drinking, OK? And then now you need to compare this figure, this number, OK, decreased or dropped to close to 20 percent, as you can see, OK, 20 percent, OK, for, for example, uh, you can see all the reasons. OK, we have something like this. So if I have any other change, that is a difference between the highest and of course, uh, for example, the other one. So this figure dropped to close and near to close to 20 percent for crime of, for example, we have something like, uh, yeah, assault. Yeah, we have something like this. As you can see, we have a drop here. Let me show you. Let me show you. And, you know, close to 20 percent. OK, for yeah. for. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Assault, OK. And again, you can say this figure dropped further a little more. OK, close to 20. As you can see again, actually it's decreasing, drop to, decrease to, to 15% again. Okay, not for what? For example, for uh, theft or other reasons, you can say you can add. And justice, okay. And we have something like, okay, breach of, no, there is nothing else, okay, no. This is about, for example, the first one. OK, so we talked, I talked about the most important one. And then actually I have, you know, reduction, decrease. And I added in simple past. So first, the first one. Sorry, <coughs> 35 percent. Then this number, this figure dropped to close 20. Then this number dropped to, for example, 15. OK, and you only need to add the reasons. OK. Yeah. And you have, for example, drunk driving. OK, we have something else. So we need to add them. Which one is closer? 15 and then justice. So as you can see, I added the details one by one. OK. Now, I want to talk about men. I separate the next paragraph. I can say, likewise, okay, majority of men, this is here, okay, of, of male, above 30 person, as you can see, this is 30, you know, it's close to, but above 30 person, okay, above 30 person, okay, were also, for example, arrested, for public drinking and I use were also because both when and me women okay both male and female were arrested for public drinking so I say as well or also okay then again you can say this number okay for example <coughs> dropped to if we have drop to, for example, 25, more than 25 percent due to, for example, drunk drivers or drink driving, so something like this. And then you had the next one and justice. So as you could hear, I only actually mentioned the first one and then I compared, OK, what happened? First I have this person, then in, OK, sometimes I have increase, so I can say. But here I have reduction or decrease, so I can add them one by one and just this, OK? Yes. 
well, just this. And just after that, finally, you can add this. You know, just we have something that actually the number, you know, hit the lowest. The lowest, okay, uh, is about 4% for men, is about 4 because it's close to 5% or maybe 4% that were arrested for no answer without any reason, okay, or something like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get it? Yes. So uh, let me actually explain it better. In this type of uh, maybe questions, okay, that we have more than one chart and we need to compare them. Normally, the first chart actually doesn't include lots of information, you know, just about, I don't know, the gender, just maybe one or two number figures, okay? Just this. The second one is really important and you need to discuss the second one. So you have one or two lines about the first one. You only add details, numbers related to, for example, genders, and then you start talking from the most significant to the least. Okay, just this. If you have the same or equal figures, you can only mention, for example, if you have enough room, uh, just pay attention. For example, the same, we have the same numbers of, of arrest for, for example, theft and assault for, for example, between men or male. Okay, so something like this, you can add. Get it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Do you have any other question? Um... Is like uh, uh like that's um you the description about bar chart that you have said is about a uh, is about body graph right teacher. Okay, so I described the bar it's chart. Like, Would yeah. you say? Uh, yeah. That's that's the, the description that you have told me. That is um it's about a polygraph right teacher. Of course, it's about bar. You know, as I told you, <coughs> I gave you first of all, I gave you an explanation about pie charts, and I told you, for example, the most number of people who were arrested for in five years in, uh, for example, finishing in 1994, were male with 32%, okay? And, for example, we can say, but women actually, and women, for example, include, uh, included the least number or the less number of figures of arrest with 9%, only 9%. This is about my pie chart. I have nothing else to say. Now I go to the next part. Yeah, 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 I okay. need to describe. Yeah, describe. But can you okay. give me the structure? Yeah, of course. So let me write about main body one. For example, we have. So let me write. Okay. <coughs> Okay, we have only, huh, let me say something, then I, okay. If you want to, if you add these numbers, okay, in your overview, for example, you can say the significant number of arrests were male with 32%, you don't need to actually repeat it in overview in your main body okay so main body only contains your uh, bar chart okay so yeah. if you if you don't have you can actually assign only one line about this and then keep going with bar chart so i write about bar chart because this is really important so you need to you need to write about the most 
significant. Feature. Okay. Then you need to add some details. Okay. About increase or decrease in bars. Okay. With the reasons. Okay. Uh, teacher, this means that yeah. when I when I write about the uh, like I add the uh, number of percents in the overview and of the pie chart in the overview and then when I turn to main body of the pie chart I don't need to write about it again. No, you don't need in overview <coughs> if you give as I told you we have word limits so we can't repeat something again and again. If yeah. you wrote the numbers actually I think it's not bad it's really good so you can add numbers in your overview and then because in your in overview you mainly discuss your pie chart okay and so you can add the numbers so that you don't need to actually you can say repeat the information about pie chart again and you can assign your main bodies one and two to two genders, male and female, in your bar chart because you need to separate information about male and female. Okay, so you need two paragraphs. So this new, actually, these two paragraphs can be, you know, uh, assigned to bar chart. And of course, you can add details about your pie chart in your overview and just this. OK, if you don't want, you can add one line after, for example, at the first of at the beginning of your main body one, but it's better not to do it. OK, if you want to have one paragraph, it's better to write only about, for example, this. Of course, if you do this, it no matter and it's correct. So main body and you. OK, it's. Strongly. Recommend it. To discuss. Only. One. OK. Feature. Subject. OK. Like, for example, male or female. Okay. And main body two. Okay. Same rule. Lies. For second for second main body. And OK, it's needed to OK. One is essential. To write about for example title okay and add details from the most significant <laughs> or the highest okay bar to the 
lowest. Okay, get it? Oh, that's from now until now. That's, I think that's uh, when you describe the pie chart and the um, pie chart, you will divide it into two paragraphs. Of course, no. We have two paragraphs. Okay, we have, you know, for task one, we have four paragraphs for all charts, graphs. Okay, we have four paragraphs. And you need to manage how to write these four paragraphs. For example, when we have comparing, okay, in comparison between two uh, actually <clears throat> charts or maybe one chart, one graph, you normally add details about, you know, to discuss the first chart in overview. And so you have actually enough space to write about the second and you need to uh, sign your next paragraphs to your next chart in order to add some details and separate information about the second chart. Yeah, uh, and like in the main party one, that's like uh, you say that it's strongly recommended to discuss only one subset, male, female, and when we talk about male and how how about female, it's like we skip it. No. Uh, about the first paragraph, it's strongly recommended to discuss only one subject. It means you don't compare them. You know, in paragraph one, you only talk about this. You know, we have two different bars, okay? Yeah. This bars, black bars, should be discussed in first, hashed, and the second type of bars should be discussed in the second. So you don't mix, okay? You don't mix all information in one paragraph. First for male, second for female. First for female, second for male, okay? So you need to separate them as we talk. And of course, when you're talking about, actually you see some information from past, it's better to use past form of tense, okay? No uh, worries. It's like main, main poly one is for male or, or female, is okay. And uh, and the main body two is the, ah, yes. okay. Female, okay, just female. So, yes, I... of course, of course. So imagine, imagine. So let me actually <coughs> uh, teach you a tip. <coughs> I'm sorry. So you can imagine that you have actually two bar charts. You can separate them. One bar chart about men or male and another one about women. And you need to write about these two bar charts separately. One paragraph about male and the second one about female. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, any other question? Um, I think this part is, is clear, but I have a question in... Of course. The different parts is like, um, can you give me the, the structure of the of this light graph in this. the uh, in the <coughs> body in the main body one and main body two of this graph? Okay, uh, this chart. No, no, it is the picture that I sent to you. Okay, so let me check. You sent me something. Let me check. Okay, so. Okay, I can see. Yeah, this is line graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you give me the main body, the structure? Uh, of course, it's it's definitely easy. Okay, and it's definitely different from this time. Okay, so let me discuss. Let me close this. Let me download it. And okay, talk about that. Just give me a moment to close this. Okay. Well. Now, let me open it on the board to show you. Okay, well, this is about line graph that is really easy. Of course, be sure that we don't have something like this in IELTS because this is really easy. So we don't have something easy in IELTS. So you need to actually look for something else, look for words, something else, something more difficult in IELTS. So let's talk about this. Okay, this one. 
Well, home ownership rates in selected European countries, as we talked before, you know, I remember that we talked about it. We have an overview and two main bodies about this line graph. OK, now yeah. actually about the introduction again, we can uh, paraphrase. OK, and the second part uh, that is overview, as I told you, we have main points. This point should be mentioned, OK? And you can add something like this. You can say, for example, the most significant, actually, <laughs> the most number of home ownership, OK, was a hundred, about 100 person, OK, in, yep. for example, Romania. That this, actually, this number, OK, decreased, OK, and OK, reduction is actually it's gently so dramatically decreased to, for example, close to 40 person in Switzerland. This is your overview. Uh, so you only need to now. I have OK, I have add some details about main body. This main body about this line should be really short. Why? Because I have no actually more details, lots of details about this line chart. So let me say something. You again, you start from the most significant, OK, or the highest part, the highest point, and then you keep going to add addition about uh, actually add some details about the, uh, you know, all the points. But if you have any similarities, something like this, you need to mention, OK? Yeah. So, for example, first of all, you say about, you talk about the most and the least, okay, number, and then you add the numbers in addition, actually add countries, okay, and then you say that, for example, this number, okay, decreased to, for example, 70 person in Italy, and after that, for example, we have UK and France that actually have the same, okay, the same, yeah. for example, number of ownership, home ownership. OK, and of course, this process. OK, and we have, uh, you know, the same process that is reducing product process from actually France to Germany. OK, and we can say that we have a reduction. OK, actually dramatically reduction or reducing in some countries in five countries from Romania to Switzerland, OK, from the most to the least. And of course, you can say that the end of this uh, actually graph or the least number of home ownership related to Switzerland with about 40 person. Just this, your paragraphs, OK, it should be only maybe two lines, you know, two, two, because we don't have something, a lot of things about this yeah. line. This is only one line, OK, get it? Yes. And how about the main body teacher? As I told you, this this was main body. Oh, I, yeah. In main I, body, let me say, let me write here. In main yes. body, okay. Let me <coughs> first. You discuss most, for example, important or the highest number, okay? Then you need to add other points, including, I, yeah. I think that's um, the highest that's uh, we have mentioned on the overview and why we need you, to mention of again. Course, OK, of course you mentioned, but in overview, we don't need to add. We don't need It's not essential to add numbers. You can say, for example, the highest number or the rate, the highest rate of ownership is related to is in Romania. OK, and the least. OK, so you don't need to add numbers now. I can add numbers, OK? I can give details in my main body, OK? So in main body, I give details, no matter if I discuss something in overview or not. In overview, I can't add details. But in main body, I try to make it better and better, clearer, OK? So yeah. I add some details. 
Yeah, because of this. As I told you, including figures and countries. OK, figures is important, means numbers. And then, OK, you need to <clears throat> mention the same changes or maybe, of course, the same changes. If you have any significant change, you need to mention again. For example, this is really easy. For example, if you have something like this, at this point, for example, we have something like this. OK, you need to discuss. OK. And. You can. End it. With, for example, the least number of ownership. Something like this. this is really easy. We don't have something like this in IELTS, you know? <laughs> don't yeah. expect something like this in IELTS. <laughs> this is only uh, something like, I don't know, sample, like, you know, just get familiar with line. This is line, okay? Something like this. But definitely we can see something like this in IELTS. Okay. And it's just half one main body. No, actually, let me say something for this. Of course, you don't need to write because we don't have lots of information to add. So we don't have two actually long main bodies, but but it's better to it's better to separate your information and write two main bodies. Your main bodies can be only two lines, two sentences, okay? Yeah. So it no matter, just I want to say that actually try to, you know, make your text, okay, really clear. So how does it mean? It means that, what does it mean? It means that, for example, if I write all, you know, for example, all lines in one paragraph, it will be a little maybe confusing, yeah. boring, especially, especially if I forget punctuation. You know, that is really important. For example, if I forget to put comma, if I forget to put, for example, period, okay, question mark, okay, exclamation mark, if I forget, that will be awful, okay? But no. If I, for example, separate them, of course, my text will be clearer. So it will be really easy to figure out. So it's better to separate information. Of course, you can talk about, for example, I can say, OK, uh, as can be seen, for example, in uh, from la in line graph, OK, the most uh, actually significant and the most rates of ownership and uh, between uh, some countries is in Romania uh, with, for example, uh, close to 100 percent of home ownership. And the least one, OK, is uh, and this, for example, line graph has a dramatically, for example, actually is, you know, dec decreasing or, for example, reduction or decrease dramatically to, for example, number of 40 person in Switzerland. This is your first paragraph. Now you can still add something. The second country, for example, that has the most, for example, the more home ownership rate is, for example, Italy with about 70 percent. And after that, UK is in the third, for example, level. And of course, we have the same we have the same change, OK, and same rate in UK and France, OK, with about, the, you know, 60 percent. But again, uh, actually, uh, another decrease, OK, can be seen from France to Germany. And of course, we have the number of an actually uh, under, you know, below 60 percent, OK, so we have a number lower than 60 percent in Germany. And finally, actually, this we have the least number of home ownership in Switzerland with 40 percent. As you can see, I can have two paragraph. Yeah, of course, yeah. I uh, I try to say, but of course, <laughs> it's really hard to say you need to write. But, you know, of course, you need more than one paragraph to talk about to discuss this graph. Get it? Yes. Very good. Okay. 
Well, let me, okay, close this. Okay, because I don't, okay. Do you have any other questions, anything that you want to ask me related to this for this writing section or no? Was it clear? Yeah. Okay, was it clear? Yes, very clear. Okay, so let me stop recording.